Okay, without discarding the low CO2 emission domestic use system. Moving on now to the category that so many of you have been eagerly awaiting, Best Single Cowl Ventilation System. The nominations are Environmatters Clean Air Europe Division PLC for their innovative use of a gravity flap damper. Klima and Lager Systems for their advances in the field of retail environment control. And Orpington-based BBW Cool Engineering Installations for their progress in the area of low-profile duct work. Once again, to announce the winner, over to you, Rick. Yeah, well, this, this is the big one. Uh, congratulations, by the way, for choosing a venue with the worst air conditioning in Europe. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be sweating like Peter Andre on Mastermind. Still, <laughs> still, better than last Tuesday, I was hosting the National Plumbers Awards. It was meant to be on Monday, but I thought, bollocks, they do it to me. <laughs> Seriously, though, it's, it's great to be here because, uh, well, I love air conditioning. In fact, you could say I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Moving on. Apparently, fans have no place in the world of air conditioning. Well, it is their field of expertise. Fans merely circulate currents of air, whereas your air conditioning unit actually controls the ambient temperature within a given environment. Two different things. That is why they didn't laugh. They didn't laugh because it was a half-assed pun. I told you not to use it. Thanks for the Legionnaire's disease gag, by the way. That killed. I mean, literally. You know, three people actually died of Legionnaires in Bournemouth a month ago. People die in Bournemouth all the time. That's why they go there. And 36 awards to do with air conditioning. It went on for two hours. You work hard. The only good thing was I got it back in 20 minutes on the new scooter. 20 minutes on the scooter. You'd look at it yet? The no. Scooter? Didn't see it on the way no. in? No. Would you like to? No. You're afraid, aren't you? No, no. You, you're worried it's going to be too noisy when I start the engine? You're going to fill your pants and run home? Oh, fine. Fine. Challenge accepted. Well, can you imagine actually trying to look interested whilst announcing the winner of Best Variable Refrigerant Flow Component? Yes, I can. Who won? It's good, man. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> How many CCs is it? That's a one, two, five. Yeah, it's, uh, it's unleaded and, uh... What color do you call that? Green. Yeah, yeah. What kind of green? It's, uh, Italian racing green. <clears throat> yeah, these are cool. I had a friend who had one in the States. Yeah, America, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're really big in Manhattan, you know? Yeah. They're reliable. They'll go forever. Has he still got it? Hmm? Your friend, has he still got it? She. Was it she? She gave it to her mother. Her mother had diabetes, needed something to get around on, but, uh... To drive a Harley. Yeah. Road King. Twin cam, 88 fuel injections. Is that a big engine on well, that? It's a Road King. What do you think? Now you have to pedal to start it. Still, you know what these are good for? Shopping. Let's write some jokes. Hey, Rick. I found your scooter. It's not Italian racing green. There's no such color. Pistachio, they call it. Oh, really? Pistachio. Hey, Mel. Hi. You know Rick Scooter? It's pistachio. I said it was pistachio. He swore it was Italian racing green. <laughs> oh, the suit's on. Is this for the big meeting? Don't. <laughs> tell Marty what it's about. No, I don't want to talk about it. I'm embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Well, tell him where you're going. I got a meeting with the people who make Fit Club, and um, they've got this idea for celebrities who've made fitness videos and then let themselves go to pot. Mm. Tell them the bit I like. This is good. Yeah, uh, and I'm taking Stella Durrell, and I haven't told her what it's about. Who the hell is Stella Durrell? Stella Durrell? 
She used to present breakfast television over here. She yeah, became she a yoga there. guru for about six weeks, and then she got Two caught years. shoplifting in not Selfridges. Proved. She started eating cake and drinking all day. He's exaggerating. Obviously not when she was asleep, but anyway, she completely went to pot. It's very anyway, funny. Anyway, she wants to make a comeback, and I'm her agent, so this is what I'm doing today. I'm taking her along, and I haven't told her what it's about. Oh, cool. Yeah, thanks. I'm really looking well, forward to luck. it. Good luck. I look forward to hearing all about it. Thank you. Oh, Rick, dry cleaner called? Dry cleaner? Yeah. Uh, your coat's ready. You need to go and pick it up. Well, not really, I don't. What? Well, just because he's called doesn't mean I've got to go and get it. Just because it's ready. I don't know why there's a big panic just because he's got something ready. Well, there's no great panic. It's just Yeah, but I can go and get it when it suits me. And I'm, I'm a free agent. I'm my own man. That's what I, I don't like about that. I think it's he's really... panicking or something. There's a three-month there's a three month window calm, before he shreds yeah. stuff. There's a sign in his window. I saw that last time. Well, the way I like to do it, I like to keep an eye on, on, on the weather forecast. If I think it's going to be a cold snap, then I'll go there. And I'll think, yes, okay. today's the day. I'll go and get my coat. What, what's Good. his problem? He doesn't really have a problem. I think it's more you. But anyway... <sighs> I was hoping that you might be able to pick up my dress for me so I can wear it on Saturday. Oh, I see. oh that's what it's all about, is it? Can I interrupt my busy writing schedule to run houseboy errands for you? Ah, you see, well, caught it's you. Just that if you're going there anyway, it's no great hardship for you to pick up the dress, is it? Well, you say that. If I go and get my coat, you see, I can just put it on and wear it. If I get your dress, I've got to carry it around all day. That's not convenient. Well, you were the one who spilled cappuccino on it. You might like to. Did you tell Marty about that? Tell Marty we went to this cafe and, and we had a cappuccino and it had cinnamon on top. Instead of chocolate. It's no problem. They do that a lot nowadays. Yeah, but not a standard. Should always be an option. Chocolate's the default topping on a cappuccino. That's international. That's yeah, recognised yeah. everywhere Shut all up. over the world. Forget the bloody dress. No, no, it's okay. I'll get it for you. I'll get it. Give me tickets. So I'm only teasing, you know. <laughs> I'll get it for you. Now I've got to fly. All right. Good luck. Give my love to Stella. Yes. Watch your handbag. <laughs> She used to present the news. Yeah. And she sort of went off the scene for about two years. Came back. Well, that happens though, you know? Unbelievable. Back on the How scene. Yeah, like that. I don't know. She was a yoga teacher, right? She did yoga first, that was what got me. That's She's really slim. Yeah. She had the earphones. You think they name all their scooters after nuts? Oh, I don't know. What else they got? Cashew nut? Macadamia nut? Donut. You think they got donut? I don't know. Look, it's just a shade of green. Called pistachio. Well, what colour was your Harley? Hog. If you drive a Harley, you call it a hog. All right, well, what colour was your hog? Black. What do you mean, black? I mean, there's, there's never just black. It was black. Yeah, but they always give it a silly name. Was it, was it midnight black or mascara black? What? It was just black. Hey, Magda, how was your holiday? It was not holiday, it was a visit home. Yeah, come on, Marty. Magda doesn't take holidays. I thought you knew that by now. Sorry about that, Magda. In fact, you know what? I was thinking maybe you should get your family to move to Centre Park so you'd kill two birds with one stone. What is Centre Park? Oh, it doesn't matter. No, please, I think you're making jokes. I like to understand for oh. my English. I uh, know, forget it, really. No, please, it's, it's... explain to me. No, it, was, it wasn't a funny joke. When we moved to Centre Park. There's no translation for this joke. No, I don't think there is, no. Actually. How's your flight? Well, I went by coach. It's a bit of a long way, isn't it? I once took a bus from DC to Florida. Nine hours. Thirty-six hours. Yeah, nine hours. Thirty-six. So, is it okay? Of course. Thank you. You know, that always says of course like that in the wrong way. What's of course about a thirty-six hour bus ride to some shithole even Russia doesn't want? It's just her way of speaking. Well, it's wrong. It's not wrong, it's different. You know what, I'd like to ban people from using the expression of course till they can speak fluent English. You're always using it in the wrong so way. So how are your folks, Magda? My mother has bad knee. Ever since she was child, she has suffered from bad knees and now she has accident. Has made worse, very painful for her. She had an accident? What happened? She was in the barn feeding the hens and there was loud noise from my father's tractor which scared one of pigs. It ran at her, she jumped out of way but fell in a satellite dish. Of course. I hope she feels better. Thank you, you're very kind. All her life she's suffered. Oh, come on, Marty. Not as he's saying you feel sorry for Magda and her sodding mother's bloody knees, are you? Let me tell you something about Magda. There's always something wrong with her, and if it's not her, it's someone in her family who's gone and broken a leg or caught their arm in a beetroot masher. That's nice. It must be a comfort to know that you're there for her, Why are you Rick? taking her side in this? I guarantee within a week she'll turn the whole thing around so that she's the victim in all this. And now the doctors say that this problem with uh, the knees is, um... 
How do you say? Um, genetic? Genetic? Genetic. Yes, genetic. Genetic. Already is a little painful now. That's going to be a new record. Come on, Marty. Tripping over stuff in a farmyard, for God's sake. How can that be genetic? Come on. Her mum has weak knees. Magda's inherited the same tendency to weak knees. The fact that it was aggravated by tripping over a satellite dish is irrelevant. You're just siding with her, because you're a banjo-twanging simpleton. Banjo-twanging simpleton. So now I'm from the deep south. Oh, well, all right. Americans are the same. Tennessee, old, big right. Fat ass people. I'm a slim guy, and I'm from actually Manhattan is where jeans. I live. So stuffing their face with pizza. I don't even like pizza. No, of course you don't. No, Why don't. are you arguing about that? I don't like you pizza. like pizza. No, I've I don't seen like pizza. you eat. No, I hate We've pizza. had pizza together. No, the only time I I've order pizza, pizza with you. is to see if it arrives to me on a pistachio colored scooter. Let's do some work. Okay. That uh, corporate thing that Hi, you were Hi, Dad. Hey, uh, how are you? Hi, Sam. How's it going? Uh, yeah, all right. How's the iPod? Yeah, I lost it. Is that all right? Oh, um, put a little lower for me. Lower, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Why, why are you doing this here and what? Oh, it's better for my knee that I have a comfortable chair. But if you want, I can go. Dad, don't be so selfish. But I'm working in here, you know, this yeah, is... Yeah, well, you know she's got bad knees, don't you? Yeah, I do. I think, I think we all do. Hey, Ben, how's college going? Yeah, good. So what are you up to? Just hanging around, really, you know. Uh, A-levels and that. So, bit of a waste of time, but... Good, yeah. Don't work too hard. Yeah, no, definitely, no. Now we're gonna go travelling. Yeah, probably Indonesia or oh, something. Yeah. It's been months in the planning. So is, uh, is that your scooter at the front? No, it's not mine. It's... Well, a... I was gonna say, it's, it's a bit gay, isn't it? Ricks. Yeah, well, so uh, we're going to shoe off, mm. yeah? So we'll see you later. See ya. Cheers, guys. See ya. Kids, huh? They just blurt out anything. Ben is a very nice boy, no? Oh, he's great, yeah. How's his knee? Is it all right? Oh, it's a little better, but actually oh. I still have pain. Oh. I stand up. You see, like what kind of Harley was it you had? Road King, King. It's Twin just... Cam 88, That's Fuel Injection. Will you win? It's your show now. So what's it gonna be? Cause people will tune in. How many train wrecks do we need to see Before we lose touch of We thought this was low Well, it's bad Even worse, son Where'd all the good people go? I've been changing channels I don't see them on the TV shows Where <laughs> You're back, <laughs> Got heaps and heaps of what we see. Hey, stop! We got this and that river I looked at first. Hi, uh, my wife told me you rang. Apparently, my coat is ready for collection. <clears throat> ticket? She lost the ticket. Oh, okay, what's the name, please? Spleen, S P L. S P L W E N, Mr. Rick Spleen. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, it's my family. They watch it on television. All right, show. well, yeah, it's uh, Spleen. <laughs> yes, yeah, Spleen. It's uh, a grey coat. Good. So, uh, when are we going to see Mr. Rick Spleen on the television? Well, again? you never, you never do know. Why not? I think it is that one there, just there. One there. Thank okay. you. This one? Oh, that's it. Ah, Great. Okay. thank you. So why? why? Why you don't know when you're going to be on television? Well, because they often don't book the guests for these panel shows till the very last minute. Yeah, we like to watch the show, myself, my family, you know, Dude, we all... Good. Even the youngest one, seven years old, he love it. Uh, so I'm quite late for a seven-year-old, I would have thought, but... Uh, <laughs> Is it comedy? Yeah. Can I just check the repair? What's the name of the the other one there? It's very funny. What's the, he's so funny. See, this book. hasn't been done. <laughs> 
He's our favourite one, you know. But you, of course, but he is. Can we just fantastic. talk about the coat for a second? This, is, sure. this hasn't been done. Let me see. Uh, look. No, no, no. They, 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 they've sewn it. Yeah. yeah, but it was supposed to be invisible mending. It was going to be invisible, so you couldn't see it being sewn. Well, it's very difficult to do that. I mean, to make it as if it doesn't show is very difficult. I know it's difficult. <laughs> that's why I didn't do it myself. I needed an expert. It yeah. says on your window, invisible mending. So I thought, that's where I'll take my coat. But this is this is visible mending. I know. How does that help saying I know? All invisible mending is done in Dulwich. Yeah, we send it there, they do it, they send it back. Well, so what? My point is they haven't done it. They've just stitched it up. I know. But it was going to be invisible. But my friend, it, it's impossible to do that. Uh, there's always going to be a little bit that's going to show. So really you don't do invisible mending? Well, not really, not if you want to be completely invisible. Well, look, no, my, my no. point is that something is either completely invisible or it isn't invisible at all. I know. No, no, stop saying I know, because at the moment we're having an argument, you know, so stop <laughs> agreeing. This is going to be on television show when you're on next time. No, you're it's not going to be on television. You're this very is funny. purely about the coat. You're very funny, I know. Let me tell you this. I'll send this back to those bastards in Dulwich, and they'll mend it for you completely nice, no problem, and at no extra cost. No extra cost? No extra cost. And your dress is ready. Would well, you get the stains out of that? Is that not possible either? Sorry about this. Wait a second. Just, uh... Can you see that? You can see it, can't it's meant to be invisible. Yeah, there you go. <coughs> it's on the rest ready. All semen stains have been removed. You what? The semen. Your wife said you uh, you put semen on it, but it's all gone. Cinnamon. What's it was same? cinnamon from a cappuccino. It's the same thing. No, it's not I'm the same. It's a crucial say. difference. <laughs> anyway, it's all gone. So um, twelve pound fifty for this, please. I don't, I'm not going to pay you any money till my coat's been repaired friend, properly. I can't let you take the dress until I've been paid. Well, fine, I don't care. I keep the dress, it doesn't matter. I just want my coat repaired properly. Fine. It's a funny man. It was cappuccino. It was cappuccino. Oh, OK, well, if you're sure. <sighs> oh, you'll definitely look good next to Vanessa. <laughs> Right, great. I'll give him the green light on it then. OK, bye. God, you're a piece of work, you are. <laughs> you knew that was going to happen. Well, it's a shame you didn't do a fitness video 20 years ago. I could have got you on it too. Mm. Did you pick up my dress? No, I wasn't ready. They rang to say it was ready. Well, they might call that ready, but I don't. What was wrong with it? Just see what they did to my coat. Made a real pig's ear of it. I've asked them to do it again. What about my dress, though? Oh, that was fine. Well, why didn't you bring it back, well, then? Because I don't want to give them any money until they've sorted my coat out properly. Oh, thanks. I needed that for Saturday. Well, it was your idea to involve me in all this. You know, personally, I don't want to get it mixed up in all your dry cleaning issues. All right. Give me the ticket, then. He hung on to it. He said that would be better that way, because, um... You lost it. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I mean, if you do go and get your dress, maybe you could just get my, my coat as well, because I... No, I'll get my coat. That was no, that was a silly idea. Do you, do you want some wine? Or... What's all this then? You're not thinking of trading in the scooter, are you? Oh, God, no, no. No, I, I, I was just thinking maybe it'd be good to have something with a bit more luggage capacity so I can carry stuff around with me. What but... sort of stuff? Well, for instance, I might want to go swimming, and, go uh, swimming. and then I have some, you know, these boxes I can keep my, my towel and uh, trunks in. Can't you just have a bag on your back? Like Goggles. normal people. Mm. Well, no, no, I can't because then I've got to carry it around with me all day, you know? Do you know how much a towel weighs when it's wet compared to when it's dry? It practically trebles in weight. You think Stella Durell is related to a towel somewhere down the line? Hi, Sam. How was your day? Uh, yeah, fine. Do you find your iPod? Uh, no. Um, look, Dad, just in case it got to you, Ben's like really sorry for this thing about really, the scooter. That, Sometimes he says things matter. like that about stuff, but he doesn't mean that exactly. Tell him, tell him it's fine. Well, it's more like slang. Don't worry, please. You know. Oh, well, anyway, I'm head upstairs. Mm. So see. Bye. What did Ben I say? I don't know what she meant. I don't know. I, I didn't even hear Ben mention the scooter. It's quite funny. That's strange because it did sound. You know, she's like... lost the iPod, the one that we gave her. Just oh, she's like the Bermuda Triangle, that girl. She's. I have finished. So tomorrow I see you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Magda. See you tomorrow. Bye. Um, 
I hope your mum's feeling better if you call her. I will call. But she will not be better. No. I think it must be worse now. Well, I'll call her anyway, you know, all that positive energy can only help. I will call. And I like new scooter. No, oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Ben, I think it's not polite to say you are gay if you have it. Good night. Good night. <laughs> there must be what he said. <laughs> I didn't hear him say that. It's funny. Yeah. yeah. This one's quite good. I think that's quite a good model because you got the hang of it. Why offer invisible mending as a service if you have no idea how to do it? Yes, yes. I sent a pair of curtains off for invisible mending once. Tear all the way down the middle. Both of them? What? So there was a pair of curtains, were they both torn or just one? Both were torn. How? Oh, there was a, an incident. Anyway, um, the dry cleaner said they'd be back in a week well, to ten. Well, I, I can just about see how you might tear one curtain down the middle, but two. I mean, for Christ's sake, how did that happen? I don't remember. Anyway, um, and this is the reason I'm telling you, uh, uh, they came back beautifully repaired. Good, good. I may still have his number, uh, if you're interested. It's OK. okay. I, he's doing it again. I, I, it'll be fine, thanks. Right. Anything to eat today? Um, we've got lentil and chestnut soup, or pine nut and courgette quiche. Oh, good. I'll have just a coffee for now, I think. Is that a new jacket, by the way? This, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a motorbike. Oh, well, so. it's very smart. Very smart indeed, if I may say so. How you doing, Michael? Hello. Just a coffee, thanks, Michael. Two coffees. Hey. You look like crap. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's the matter with you? You're not eating properly? No. No, I'm not eating here. I'm sick of eating here. What's the matter with the food here? The food, everything here tastes like bark. Oh, that's not that bad. No, it does. Why, why can't we eat somewhere else? No, I don't want to hurt his feelings. You know? He's very sensitive. Yeah. So is my stomach. You know what uh, you know, Mel told me about Michael? She found out. He used to work in the city. Had a complete nervous breakdown. Completely flipped out. Had to give it up. Wanted to do something else. So he yeah, opened this place instead. You Brits, you don't know how to do nervous breakdowns oh, properly. Stop. No, in the, no, 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 no. I can't. Like no. in the states, you have a nervous you breakdown. You have to do everything bigger and better well, over there. You don't there. open up a you whole can't food even restaurant. Have a nervous breakdown no, no. discreetly. No, no, you become a bum. You live on the streets, no. you put all your stuff in a shopping cart, and you pick food out of garbage cans. Yeah, Actually, like two coffees. Have you decided what you'd like to eat yet? Ah, uh, yeah, probably just another minute, thank you. Right. Yeah, I was gonna... What's this? That's the business card of the dry cleaner I was telling you about. OK, um, thank you. Don't know if you want to make a note of well, it. Well, I will, thank you, yeah. Marty, do you have a pen so I can... OK. Thank you. Even his coffee sucks. Uh, it's organic coffee. I miss American coffee. Oh, come on, American coffee's full of pesticides. Yeah, that's what gives it its flavor. It stinks. That's why all Americans are retards. That a new jacket? Yeah, it's for the bike. Scooter. For now, yeah. yeah. Looks new. All right, what's wrong with something new looking new? It's a motorcycle jacket, OK? It's not supposed to look like it's a gift from your mother. It doesn't look like a gift from my mother. This is the, this is the Marlon Brando range. Uh, it looks more like... George Michael. Oh, what's that now? It's a gay jacket. They go on my gay scooter. Is it going to have the pine nut and courgette quiche, please, Michael? Certainly. Now, do you want a rice salad with that, or...? Uh... Uh, probably just some... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I did you need that bag? No, it's, it's fine, really. Oh, you got your dress? Yeah, and guess what? I got your coat too. Oh. Do you know why? Because I'm normal. Look, they've done a fantastic job. Isn't that amazing? Well, well, it is now invisible. Yeah. Which is, that's not amazing, because it's what was supposed to have happened, but... Well, if you go to a restaurant and ask for soup and they bring you soup, then that's not amazing, because that is what was supposed to have happened. But, uh, no, thank you for getting it. Thank you, it's great. It's a pleasure. What are you up to? Well, this is the, uh, the hog I might get. The what? 
Fiona Harley, you call it a hog. Oh. So we're ditching the wussy scooter, are we? It's got a nice big engine, good luggage capacity. It's, uh... You will still wear a helmet, won't you? Of course I wear a helmet. You have to wear a helmet. It's the law. Because <laughs> that leather cap he's wearing doesn't look too safe. Is he wearing a leather cap? Yeah, look. Right above the big moustache. So what are you saying? What do you think I'm saying? He's gay? Just a little bit. Oh, what, so now everyone who rides a Harley is gay? Well, everyone who dresses like that, yeah. The hanky in the back pocket, the cap, the shiny new leather jacket. It's a big gay scene. A hunk like you on a bike like that. You want to watch yourself. All right, how about this? There are so many hairdressers here tonight. Billy Elliot's closed for the evening. Huh? Well, I'm sure you enjoyed your after-dinner mints. Oh, man. 900 hairdressers here. Haven't been this nervous since I got lost up Brokeback Mountain. Is that our take on this, that all hairdressers are gay? <laughs> Okay, what about uh, your old routine, you know? You go to the barber shop and he still offers you the booster yeah, seat? Yeah, 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 and the cape, yeah. And what about this? You uh, take the mirror and show them the back of the awards. Yeah, very good, yeah. You like anything on your award? Maybe some spray? A little bit of gel so you can shove it at Rick, you. what is with this homophobic shit? You're paranoid because you keep buying stuff that people say is gay, so now you're going to take it out on an audience that you say is gay because they're a bunch of hairdressers? Yeah, I know. Listen, tell me something. If I bought a Harley and I went around on it, would I look gay? No. You look like a jerk. Like a 44-year-old, annually retentive, overweight loser who's going through a midlife crisis. Thank you. That's all I wanted to hear. Look at this blossom. Now you're starting to worry. I didn't mean it in that way. I'm just saying it looks nice. Turn me off. Yeah, Seam, are you feeling all right? Yeah, why? Magda said last night you gave her a leather jacket. Yeah, I did, yeah. That's the kind of thing I do. I'm kind. I like to be kind like that. I felt I'd been a bit unsympathetic about the knee business. You know, I'm going to be nicer to Magda from now on. I... Well, the jacket, I did buy it for myself. I mean, it was, you know, just didn't look right. It looked too new. It looked like a gift for my mum, so. Ah, oh, shame. Would have looked good on your new motorbike. No. Yeah, I've been thinking about that, you know. I'm going to keep the scooter. I'm happy with it. Oh, yeah. good. And how were the hairdressing awards? Good, actually. It was a nice gig, yeah. Good people. Came up with this idea. I had a handheld mirror held it behind the awards so they could see the back of it. It was, it was, it was uh, good. Marty kept coming out with all this gay material about hairdressers. Hi, hey, Magda. How's the leather jacket? It's gone, of course. What do you mean it's gone? It's been stolen? No, not stolen. I sold already on eBay. You, s you sold the jacket? Why? It is, um, you would say, unwanted gift. Well, actually, no, you wouldn't say that. Not to the person who gave you the gift. Hi, but Stanley, it's why mine that I sent home to my mother. Why must you get for it? Why do you want to know this? It's my thing that I'm selling. Yeah, but if you gave me a present and Why I sold I it, you'd be upset. Present, That's, That's not the point. It's a matter of courtesy. Sam sold her iPod on eBay. Sam sold her iPod? Of course. Now, can we have the conversation about the use of the phrase, of course? Of course. See, that's my point. You don't just say, of course, all the time. When you say, of course, it implies that something's obvious. <laughs> I know. 